Wyoming, or Elk Mountain, Wyoming. Uh, as uh, you would recall from my last episode, we have purchased these fields over here. So I have decided to come and plow it in. Uh, we did, uh, we put the, pl uh, the, plime, <laughs> the lime onto this field. So uh, our, today we're going to be getting ready for planting season. So let's deal with a little bit of this since we have a little bit of um, withered crop over here. I don't like that so. Okay. Yeah, no, I definitely don't need to be doing any more. Yeah, we don't need to extend the field any more than that. The point was just to get rid of that uh, withered crop. I did the same thing on the other side. So that is the whole point of this. Now I am going to obviously set up a course plate to do this. Um, a little bit of a different beginning to, uh, to our Let's Play or to this series. Normally we start with the map, but you know, today I thought we'd just get in. It's a different um, approach to this field. It's got quite a bit of a drop on this side. So I'm not sure if that will affect it in any way. I don't think it should. I'm trying to think. Um, no, I think we'll just drive it back to over here where we've got the straight edge and let him go to town that way. No field found. Well, that's a field there in front of you. Oh, no, 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 come back. Well, that's an interesting scenario. So let's see, does course play find definitely a field there? Create a job. Okay, so we've got bang. I'll put it a little bit lower. Number of headlands, boom, everything looks good. Generate. Uh, close, start job, and we need to do this from the first waypoint. Let's see where he's going to go for a drive. Okay, so he's going to turn around over here. Okay, come on, turn around. That is a massive overlap. Why are you doing that? 8.6 meters? Is this bigger than 9 meters? Plow. 9 meters. We'll let him do and then we'll see what happens. I'll, uh, I'll see you once he's gone past around a couple of times. Okay, since we have access to this plow, which is really cheap, $5,000 plow. No, I didn't change the money on it, uh, well, the cost of it at all. That's how it is. And also, we updated our, updated, we customized our tractor to twin wheels, and we added a weight to the front. It cost us a bit of cash, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to this a 12 meter plow. I am going to keep this plow and get rid of the other plow. Uh, but for now, we're going to use both plows that we have. And then, obviously, we're gonna get rid of that one. Um, we're gonna, uh, I've tried to add trees onto the field that uh, we were talking about just before. Can I get into this field this way? Oh, it looks like I can. Beautiful. Oh. Well, look, I got a bit of a bell storage over here. The thing that I wanna see is if I can do anything about this thing over here. What is going on over here? Let's have a look. Okay, so we can kind of... Right? No, we cannot. No, let's not. We 
We don't want to get ourselves into a position where we're going to be in trouble. Come on. Okay, what are we looking for? Creating job. Boom, 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 boom. So we're going to be looking at this one going that way. And target, obviously, we'll put it in top of it. Okay, open 12 meters will make it a little bit slow. A number of tools, headlands, uh, clockwise, that's fine. Uh, where is the thing for bypass circle? That's fine. Open and close, start job. And we're gonna do what we do here and go to the first waypoint. I haven't really looked and see what. Yep, it's gonna go around the islands, that's fine. Wow, that is the weirdest approach I've ever seen. I don't understand why is he overlapping so much. Now we still have the sh uh, shorter base 7R, which is the same track that we just can reconfigure that a little bit. Alright, I'll let him do his work. Today, which is this case magnum uh, and this rock picker which is obviously uh, not really a realistic ro uh, rock picker uh, looks more like a wind rower uh, so this new tractor will become the new addition to our farm wow uh, new addition to our farm the reason that I, uh, as you can see, I sold uh, the rock pickers that we had, the rock picker that we had, and I sold our transport vehicle that we had as well, which was the two animal uh, trailer and uh, the horse trailer as well. And uh, I bought this tractor. The model that made it uh, only put the cost of it as $100,000. Uh, it's, it's not updated to its maximum spec as far as the engine is concerned. It's at the uh, lowest spec available. And uh, that's why we could afford it and still have a little bit of money left over. Now, this rock picker, obviously, I don't need to uh, say it to anybody and nobody needs to say it to me. I am more than aware that it's not realistic. Um, I'm curious to see how it works. Now, like I said, I am more than uh, aware that's not a realistic rock picker. But, uh, oh, 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 I think I need to kind of calm down the speed a little bit. 
You know, oh, look at the tractor. Where look where he parked himself. Beautiful. I did. I mean, could he have chosen a better place to park himself? Now, I have no idea if he finished. No, he did not. So let's go and set him up to finish. Now, obviously, if this case tractor works out, uh, where did you last go? See, the problem is that I'm not going to be able to really tell which part, come on, I'm so sick of this, which part of the field he had done or not done. Because obviously, yeah. So what we're going to do is just going to call it that he done the whole lot, even though we know he hasn't done the whole lot. And we're going to go drive him through the ditch over here. And before we go any further, let's clear the course that he was just doing. And let's take care of this withered round field. And we're gonna put you on create a field. To be honest, I'm not quite sure if we, if I need to I'm going to put it back to 12 and see what happens because I've got it overlapping quite a bit. So I don't think it's, it needs to, oh wow. First point, it's already there. Beautiful. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to leave all that bit for me to do. Okay. He's going to leave all that bit for me to do. Now this, um, Obviously, the episode is going to be quite a bit on setting up, so I'm going to do my best to try and edit things out. So it's not forever just uh, uh, plowing and collecting rocks off these fields. But unfortunately, we're going to need to do that. Our timber contract, uh, I believe I said it at the beginning, I'm not sure. Uh, we have finalized that. We've removed all the trees. We've not sold everything, though. The trees, one truck full is still there. And the reason that I did that is because if you remember in one of the episodes of Timber, uh, when we did lumber, uh, I put one tree through the trigger and he gave me 40,000 liters. And then I put the whole truck truck to, through, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Where is our, where is our lumber here? See, we only have 75,000 liters all up. So I put one and he gave me 49, I think, thousand liters of there. And then the rest of the truck only gave me 30,000 liters, which to me, it absolutely made no sense. How could that be? Um, how is it possible that uh, such a huge amount of uh, timber would give you such a little uh, amount of, uh, you know, a full truck of timber giving you 30,000 liters in the, in the uh, shop there? while the rest of it, well, one tree gave me almost 50,000 liters of timber. That, to me, didn't make sense. And because it didn't make sense, I thought, you know what? Let it run out, and then I'll put it one by one in to see if that actually changes anything, or it's just the way it is. So, uh, first time ever that I believe that I am uh, doing anything on a round field. So this would be the first time that I'm planting or plowing or anything on a round field. First map that I played, as far as I remember, that had a round field in all FSs. I know there were others that did have it, but for me, I believe this is the first. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need 
We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious in panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness Three fields that are almost ready for planting so as you can see it's getting dark we're still picking rocks on uh, our second field so we got uh, after that the round field to pick up rocks and then we're done with picking rocks we will be looking forward to uh, planting season and then we can first thing we can do is get our grass taken care of and then we will get ourselves into a position where we can start doing some uh, getting some animals ready oh, oh, oh nearly all right so since we have this garage and i do believe that these tractors do fit in this garage over here let's go and put them in This twin wheels might be pushing it. Yeah. But that's alright, we can still leave him right here. Still somewhat undercover. Let's see, can we get out of here and go in? Can we squeeze through here? Yes, we can. I'm curious to see if the door is going to hit the weight or not. It's very noisy, this door. Nope. So we got our machinery nice and clean. Um, chickens, let's uh, speed up a little bit over here. And go and have a look at our chickens. How are they going with everything? Oh, that's not the chickens. Oh, we're very low on food. Got 30 animals. Uh, what do we have? Uh, almost 800 eggs. So we are going to need to come and feed our chickens. here we got nothing over here oh what about our don't we have any where do you oh, oh, oh don't walk into it oh we walked in okay that was interesting we walked in now we're walking out where is our lettuce where is the storage 
No, it's not there. Haven't we activated our letters? What do we have? Storing, storing, storing. Oh, we're selling it. Okay. It's going to say, why don't we have any? So that's why we don't have any, because we are selling it. All right, I believe we'll leave it here for this episode. All our setup, uh, setup for planting is done. Our houses are nicely lit. I do it. Can we open these doors? Yes, we can. So I am going to bring my vehicles over here, but I'm going to have to like, what do I have? Do I have any like um, of those supercars that are cheap? Oh, we got a $40,000 Porsche. And we got a $30 Lamborghini. How could you go wrong with our wheels? You know, for $30. Just buy it and put it in the garage, hey? Eh? So let's get ourselves to the shop. Obviously this, you know, but if you live in Elk Mountain, Wyoming, I would have to assume that you're very well off. Uh oh, uh oh. You know, this would be a farmer's uh, recreational vehicle. And since we're in such a beautiful part of America by the looks of it, Surely, oh, very hard to drive it at night from the inside. Surely you'll be, be you'll be very well off. And did I pass my driveway or not? I do believe this is my driveway, and I believe the signs can be removed, right? How do you remove it? Take down sign. Beautiful. We already purchased it. I mean, hey, we got a Lamborghini. Do we look like we didn't purchase this land? Now, I hope you're not gonna tell me, oh, it's not very realistic. I understand. You're not gonna get a Lamborghini for $30 to start up with. Um, I can't remember if I changed the price to $30 or that's how it came. And obviously, it's just a muck around car. Nothing to do with farming. Nothing to do with anything to do with farming. In any way, shape or form. It's just, uh, I'm gonna get this and chuck it in there and who knows maybe if we get rich enough I might get a Ferrari or whatever else I have I can't remember where else I had and just shove it in my garage over there I mean since I have a fancy garage but I have a fancy car and let's face it I got this fancy farm surely a farmer would splurge out actually funny story I did work for a farmer back in what uh, mid 90s uh, I worked for a farmer here in Australia that he used to do cotton farming and um, we didn't know that he was a farmer uh, when we you know we were at work we didn't really uh, know that he was a farmer we saw this guy that was just coming next to us and uh, you know chitty chatting to us and we're like talking to him and he's asking us about our dreams and so on and he's you know, oh, the, 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 you need to have a Ford in here, so I need to look for like a Ford Mustang or something like that. But anyway, he was talking to us and, you know, we're chitty chatting with him only to find out after we we're sort of mucking around with the guy that he was the owner of the farm. And uh, the reason that I bring this story up is that what happened is he used to tell us, because we asked him, you know, uh, after we met him a couple of times and we saw that it was always just him and his wife, we said, do you have any children? And he said, yep. And we said, oh, you know, but then, you know, at uni or whatever. And they said, no, they were, you know, past that. They finished universities or whatever they were doing. And now they're, you know, working. And anyway, to cut the long story short. He was telling us that um, he had uh, houses on the Gold Coast here in Queensland. Uh, you know, if you, well, if you know anything about Gold Coast, it's a fairly expensive area. And he was telling us how he has properties on the border and, you know, high-rise penthouses and so on. 
and uh, his kids are there enjoying it. And I said, well, that's strange. Uh, you know, you do have all that luxury. You must be going there quite often. And, you know, found out that he really wasn't going there very, very often. It was his children that was enjoying it. He actually enjoyed being on the farm. Now, more in New South Wales, if you care to look it up on the map, uh, it's quite inland. It's about, you know, five, 600 kilometers out of inland from Gold Coast. Um, so, you know, that's the story is a Lamborghini is not quite out of place for a farmer, maybe out of place on a farm, but not uh, for a farmer to own luxury items such as Lamborghinis and whatever. But anyway, that's kind of diversity from the story. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. And as always, you be kind to each other. If uh, you got any suggestions regarding the game, again, I'm very, very happy to try and listen and where I, where I can implement it. Do I have water? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. God bless you. Bye-bye.